from BYU Track and Field and Cross Country, Rory Linkletter. Rory, nice to have you back in What's Studio up, Rory? B. It's fun to be here. I feel like I've had a, my fair share of you guys, though, for the last 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best moment of the Y Awards last night? You winning the Male Athlete of the Year or being dubbed the number one Power 5 couple? Um, I definitely was more anxiously awaiting the Power 5 couple of the year. <laughs> were you surprised that you were number one or were you expecting it? I was expecting, like I said last night, either number one or you to leave me off again. <laughs> <laughs> All or nothing. Yeah. And Jill's here uh, in studio. What, what what was your reaction when you saw, okay, we're number one. Finally, we made it. These guys finally made it happen. Um, I was happy, obviously. The the thing about the Y Awards is the camera comes over to you before they're going to put you on the camera. So we were like, either they're going to show us because they didn't put us on or they're going to show us because we won. And hey, there it is. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, pretty excited, obviously, as you can see there. So Were you more excited than winning Male Athlete of the Year? Because that's a big deal at BYU, to win the Male Athlete of the Year. Um, it was fun. It was really fun to win the Power Couple, but obviously it's a great honor to be male athlete of the year at BYU, a place that has just such great athletics. Voted on by the athletes, too. Yeah. I'm I mean, happy with that. I mean, for, for a track cross-country guy, it's nice to have that recognition. And, and uh, the teams of the year, cross-country tied with men's volleyball, that was yep. cool as well. Yeah. We, were, we knew it was going to be between us and men's volleyball because they always have such a stellar season, and it was uh, awesome to be able to share that honor with them. My favorite part of the whole night is just looking back, and it's the only time the whole athletic department gets together, and not everyone can always make it, like baseball's on the road or whatever, but it's just fun to see how good BYU athletics is. Yeah. Did you have that same experience? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of studs out there. I mean, uh, just for Male Athlete of the Year, we have a future NFL player, Fred Warner. We have a uh, prolific scorer, Elijah Bryant, Brendan Sander, All-American volleyball player, and Brock Hale, stud on our baseball team. It's just, it was awesome. And well, you and won that, out of those guys, which is awesome. And you're an All-American. Yeah, yeah, just doing what we can. All-American Canadian. And yes, all the All-American Canadian. Canadian. That's right. Is that the only one on campus right now at BYU? Probably. Well, Alexa Gray left. That's kind of your <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And Kramer. Uh, more importantly, how would you rate us as hosts, Rory? We want unfiltered commentary. You well, it's BYU, you want. so it needs to be somewhat filtered. But. Um... I'd, I'd give you 9 out of 10. Okay. 9 out of 10. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. This was yeah. a good year. We had a lot take of fun. It. it was brief this year as well. It was faster than Let's, years past. Sometimes yes. it feels like it's like drawn out. It was a good good experience, so I really enjoyed it. Let's talk about that part, which we failed to mention at the end of the show, by the way. It's been like two and a half to three hours before. It was yeah. 90 minutes. When David I saw Almodova, Bryce Lake, they made it happen. When I saw 7.30 as the start time, I was like, my bedtime's like 9, so I was worried. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it was it was brief, though, this time, and it was an awesome show. Rory, you've accomplished a lot, understandably. We just saw some of those uh, notable accomplishments on the screen in, in a graphic, citing you as an All-American in track and field and in cross country and leading your team uh, to West Coast Conference dominant championship victory, finishing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, your epic comeback in the 10K to finish second. What's next for you? I mean, what, what are you pushing for now? Well, uh, we're getting here into the heart of outdoor season. We just finished an indoor season where I got sixth in the 5K, which is five places better than I was a year ago. So we're improving, and we're just trying to reach higher limits. I, I want to run some fast times this outdoor season. Uh, I got my eyes set on a really fast 10K. Uh, the Olympic standard for Rio was 28 flat, and I want to go under the Olympic standard to kind of solidify myself as an Olympian in 2020 for Team Canada in the 10,000 meters. Cool. So I got big goals this season, and obviously the number one goal is to score as many points as I can at the NCAA meet. And being second last year, we can only go up with 10 points. So I'm, I might double. I might do the 10 and 5,000 this year at Nationals, but I want to score as many points as possible. Are you in, in the mix for being on Team Canada 2020? Is that a that's legit the goal. possibility? That's the legit possibility, and that's awesome. the biggest goal for now. In the 10K? Yeah, I think, what, what I think you, that's more likely than anything. I could, uh, I could move up to the marathon, but I would be a young marathoner at that point. Jared did. pulled the Jared Ward. Yeah, the Jared Ward. Maybe 2024 we'll mm. try a marathon, but I think if I have the 10,000-meter standard, I'll stay there. What are you wow. ranked in the 10K among Canadians? Do you know? Uh, so we actually have one of the best North American right now is a Canadian. Mm. So uh, I wouldn't be number one right now, uh, but I could probably somewhere two, three, depending on the year, depending on who moves up in distances. We have a really established 5,000 meter runner that's in the NCAA that runs for Syracuse. Uh, and he could move up to the 10,000, but I don't see that. If he did, I'd still 
have a spot as three make it. But uh, three make it. Okay. So cool. Okay. After BYU, you've told us about your Olympic aspirations. What lies ahead for you as a potential professional runner? Well, right now we're just trying to build the resume so that when it's time, I can put myself out there and see if I can get signed by a, a team or a company and make some money being a run bum for the rest of my life. <laughs> <A> <laughs> <Not run bum. laughs> That's what Coach Eystone calls them is someone who can just run and lounge around, a menace to society, if you will. He looked like a run bum in that picture we <laughs> Hey, that was threw up, and you tweeted it Classic out. Easy E. What did you think? Yeah, what did what, you what do you think Eazy-E? of that picture? Easy E. That's fantastic. We've we've used that picture for a shirt before. Uh, I think that's the the famous picture that's on our Ed's Army shirts. So uh, we love that picture. That's just like that embodies everything so he is now. He's such a kid at heart. So that's just. Yeah. He, he was probably just having too much fun with that. Now, let's talk about, okay, Spencer's trying to push you, you know, oh, what are you doing after? Be-? You have two significant things happening soon, I think, right? Yes. Are you graduating? Well. Or, or you will after, after a little bit? Okay. So I have, a, I have a fifth year coming up, so yeah. I'm actually only a junior this year. You're only a junior? Yeah. Whoa. Lucky I for easy E. I just yeah. assumed you were a senior. Okay, so there's that. But you're engaged. Yes, I am you're engaged. You're getting married this summer? August 10th. August 10th. Yeah, that's a big deal. What what's what's uh, taking more of your time? The thought of that or like running? I try to keep myself busy with running, but I uh, there's a lot of things that go into planning a wedding. She does a lot of that, obviously. Thanks, Jill. Uh, she's helps, good at right? that kind of stuff. And, and she's a gymnast. She's busy herself too. Yeah, she's very busy. She has the regional meet next week, which is going to be huge. Hopefully, qualifying BYU to nationals for the first time in a really long time or ever. I don't know when they've been before. Time. Okay, they've been before a few times. It's been a long time though. It has been. A it's very been a while, long time. and yep. they've got an awesome team. They've beaten those teams that they're up against. Uh, they've beaten Cal, who's the favorite, the number two seed in their region. So it'll Backup be. Backup gymnastics analyst. Yes. Yeah. Of Link course. Little. You need somebody. Now, do I'll you fill in. do you get to attend that meet? Because I'll be, it is in Salt Lake City? You know, I, I'm going to be in Oregon next week uh, running my season opener. I thought about asking Coach, can I just stay? Because this could be Jill's last meet. But Jill even told me, like, we do our own thing. Let's just uh, focus on you, and I'll focus on me. And I appreciate that, and I love that wow. about her. There's also some brash confidence in there, too, right? It's not going to be my last meet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, eh. Bad thing is, is I have a meet the weekend that Nationals would be as well. Oh, so Let's not focus on that. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is, man. That, that, like like Shay, Shay Martinez and Kyle Collins. Yeah. Like, they're like, she's a pro runner. He's in the NBA. Like, yeah, they're doing their thing, and that's what we do. So yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Now, have you decided where, whenever you graduate from BYU, and move on. Have you decided where you're going to live? Have you had that conversation? We've talked about it. Uh, I think it'll be somewhere in the mountains like Utah, Colorado, or northern Arizona, or somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. That's just where mm. runners in North America Elevation live training. and train. So yeah. it'll be it'll be good. Uh, we'll stay on the west side of the U.S. is my, my assumption. But wherever the opportunity is. Well, it's a good thing you don't have much going on, Rory. So. Yeah, it seems like you're not very busy. So, uh, yeah, if you ever want to hang out, just let us know. Man. Yeah, the antithesis totally. of a run bum right now. A yeah, bum. trying. I learned something today. Goodness. <laughs> Rory, congratulations again on uh, Male Athlete of the Year at the Y Awards. Thank and you. And on all your success. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rory. Thanks Member for having of me the on. Number one Power Five couple. That's, that's legit. Rory, Rory like, Linkletter. Like, you got to earn it. You don't just, you know, like LeBron James wrote when he went back to Cleveland, it's not given, it's earned, right?